Right, so next in. And I think this is going to be a quick one to watch. So we're into the mediums now. Nigel Staines is back. Nigel with Zico, Australian working Kelpie, seven years of age. Uh, retired, competes in agility for 30, been competing for 31 years, 20 years at Crufts. Yeah, 20th year at Crufts, that is totally amazing. Uh, wouldn't allow me to use my Zimmer frame like it. It's obviously got a bit of joke in there as well. Uh, trainer, Dark Destroyer, Agility, Calm Force. So Nigel also trains well. I've known Nigel a long time, long, long time. He's still going competing. I retired. I do miss it as well, to be fair. So, steady well at the moment. Ready? Bit of a bark as well. Ready, Here we go. Nigel's off now. Isn't it? What is it about that lap? I mean, look at the difference there. Look at that difference. Wow. 30.217. And now Nigel takes the top ranking into first place. I thought he might be somewhere near. Fair dues. And next to go, we've got Russell. Russell Mason with Wes. Crossbreed, seven years of age. Comes from Burton on Trent, so fairly local. Uh, Russ's first agility dog took him over from his wife when she was injured and has never looked back. Never been to cross before. Wes absolutely loves to jump and will dance at the end if he's happy. Okay, look out. And we're all finishing now. We're going to see if there's a dance. That's nice. Something happened between us. We're in the tunnel. Back over the U-move. Here we go. Are we going to pick up the speed again? I think we are. Here we are. Here we go. One to go. Finish in line. 30.414 and goes into second place. Well done. Super run. Should have Lauren in next. Lauren Langman from Devon. We're working classic and miniature American Shepherd. So this is a class, is classic second time at Cross. Wow, she loves the, uh, the big arenas, always barks, screams when excited. I think I remember this one, I think it does scream a lot. Uh, she has qualified for two events at Cross and we are so happy to be back here again with her. Look at that, that's going to be the fastest set we've so far today. Small dog as well, that is probably going to be one of the fastest dogs. If this doesn't go first, I'll be shocked, unless they have a fault. Which I hope they don't. Come on, Lauren, come on, classic down the line. Here we go, we want to go. Yes, 27.699. And they've now gone into first place. Look out for Lauren and Classic. Wow, what a run that was. And next to him, we've got Sue, Sue Midgley. Uh, from Oxford, Freeland, Oxfordshire. Zephyra is a dog, Shetland Sheepdog, five years of age, competing in Chilton Border College for 36 years. First time at Crufts was in 1994. Zephyra is my first Sheltie and is great fun. She competes at grade seven. She likes to bark when I don't run fast enough. I like that. We sped up just towards the end of weaves, but a nice set of weaves. Over the U move. Just a little bit of time there. Only a little bit, but we lost a bit. I'm sure we're going to make that up. So, round two. Here we go. Four to go. It's gone quiet in the arena. Three to go. Two to go. One to go. Yes! 20. Oh, 30. 30.06. So, second place for Sue and Zafira. Uh, next on the start line, we've got Becky, Becky Hodgson from Peterborough, working Jaffa, Breed, Crom, Flander. I hope I haven't pronounced that wrong, I'm sure I have. Uh, Jaffa is the very first of his breed ever to compete at Crufts. This was my first main goal for her, so we are thrilled to be here representing. She is a total diva, and I love her for it. Well, I'm Miss Particle, she'll go away very quickly. There we go. Just sometimes you've got to let that bark out. Okay, I think we stopped there for a brief second. Four to go. Three to go. Come on, Becky. Come on, Jaffa. Yeah, well done. 29807. Second place. Take second place of Becky and Jaffa. So Colette's in next. Colette Atwell with Jacko, miniature poodle, six years of age from Derbyshire. So excited to be at Crufts again. This is our second year here. 
Jacko loves recycling bottles when I'm out walking. That's a good idea. I like that. He's a little crazy at times. And I've been doing agility for about 10 years, mainly for fun. Lovely. I mean, a miniature poodle, the speed that goes through, he's probably got a bit of advantage, I suppose, because it is slightly small to go through the reason. But we've skipped the wall and we've taken on the U move hurdle, so we've got an elimination. But they'll continue working around the course and we'll give them a massive clear round, uh, round of applause as they come through, even though they've been eliminated. Come on, come on, Jaffa. Jacko. Yeah, so unlucky that was. Very unlucky. And next here from Stoke on Trent, we've got Adele, Adele Moran with Wizard, working Cocker Spaniel. This is Wizard's first time qualifying for Crufts. He qualified at Discover Dogs in October and loves to run a jersey for his reward of a tennis ball. And we're away. So we have uh, two dogs to run up. Great re-entry, like that straight across. Over the U move. Turn your left foot out and turn a little bit wide, not too much, but a little bit. So we've lost a little bit of time. Oh, here we go, the vocals are going to start then. The screaming's coming because we've got four to go. Now the screaming's going to go at three. We've got two. We've got one. Yeah, super up. 29, 6, 4, 5. And it's not telling me what position they've gone into. There we are. They're in second. Well done. Cracking run, that was. Is this the last one? I think it is. Our last competitor. Let's double check. It's sometimes a bit thick. Should be Rosie. It is. Rosie working Boo, Rosie Cavill from Newport, Hungarian Muddy. Uh, this is Boo's second time at Crust. Boo loves the sound of her own voice and sharing her opinion with anyone who will listen. When not doing agility, she comes running and also enjoys man trailing. Oh, watch yourselves, guys. Right, so we're in the weeds. A steady set of weaves, but nicely executed. No problem there at all. Rosie putting a bit of a leg work in there, so be ahead of the dog. Big jump, big jump, big jump again for a smallish dog. Over the U move, sweeping turn over the cross hurdle. Now we're coming around with four to go. They get a chance for first place. Rosie's away. Rosie's gone. And any time now, Boo's overtaken Rosie. Yes, well done. Great run. Great run. Time at 28.504 and into second place for Rosie and Boo. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a presentation very shortly, I do believe. So if you'd like to stay ringside for presentation, you're most welcome to. Okay, first up, the Crufts Large Novice ABC winner, Stockyard Rough Stock Rodeo and handler Emma Wallace. And the intermediate Crufts Novice ABC with Kenatina Legro, handler Kerry Scott. And the Crufts Medium ABC with Basilea American Classic at Devon Gem, handler Lauren Langman. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? 